Welcome everybody. Today we are going to be reviewing some of our favorite new enduro and e-bike rated wheel set, the Zip 30 Motos. All right, folks, so about seven months ago, we got a set of our first Zip 30 Moto wheels that we had ever ridden. Um, we'd been seeing a lot of pro athletes, Zip ambassadors raving about them. Uh, we'd even read a couple other reviews ourselves, and, and it seemed like most people were really impressed with the ride characteristics and traits of the wheel set. So we were very excited to put them on some of our bikes and see what we thought. Uh, something that was really neat is that when we got the wheels, uh, Zip let us know that they are e-bike rated. So obviously, um, if a wheel set is going to hold up to uh, abuse on an e-bike, we know it's going to do pretty good on a much lighter regular pedal bike. So we mounted these up to a Levo for quite a while, now have them on this Kinevo SL and have been equally enjoying the performance. So first up, let's talk a little bit about the construction uh, weight, and then we'll kind of get into the ride characteristics. So Zip used a pretty unique construction method with this wheel. Um, it was something that they were proud of, uh, you know, thinking outside the box of mountain bike wheel set and the traditional box structure. They've gone to a very low profile, single wall construction. And with that single wall, low profile construction, it sort of pays homage to the Moto namesake of the wheel. Whereas traditional bike wheels are very boxed, these have a, that single low profile design, and it gives them one of the best riding traits, which is their ankle compliance, um, which, you know, when we started doing our research, quite honestly, it all kind of sounded a little hocusy pocusy and uh, marketing voodoo magic, but it was something that we really felt out on the trail. And essentially what, what their website describes ankle compliance is, is if you envision a runner on a track and the, the terrain is flat, as they're running and making a turn, their ankle is able to flex so their feet stays flat, but their ankle and the leg is flexing and moving. Another key ingredient in the ankle compliance recipe is Zip's spoke bed and how it actually is able to flex inside the rim. And with the design of this wheel, it is able to locally flex. So as you are, say you're riding on a flat bit of, of trail and some roots come across from the side, or if you're trying to fight traction um, on an off camber root section or on some rocks, the wheel will be able to flex and move so that it will keep the tire and uh, your, your traction, your weight distribution going down instead of wanting to go out, causing you to lose traction, go down a tire slide out, whatever you know scenario you've been through it before. Um, and it was something that we really could notice. We have a lot of very loose uh, rock here in Central Oregon. We've also got a lot of embedded sharp lava rock and that stuff, it does not move at all. It is sharp, it is super grippy and abrasive, and you, like you name it, it is nasty stuff. So when you hit these big embedded bits of lava rock that are just at a 45 degree angle, a lot of times we've had some test bikes with certain stiff wheels and it's hard to hold a line or you feel like you're skidding across the top. With these zip wheels, we really noticed that weird little bit of flex that sort of felt like it was conforming, you could say, and the tire was able to stay where you needed. You could hold your line, and uh, it was really neat. Um, obviously, some riders really like a very stiff, rigid wheel that just does not move. Um, this may not be the, the wheel for you. Um, you know, I don't, if you're like a park guy or your trails are, are really smooth and you've got high G-force berms um, and you just need the stiffest wheel possible, it could be a, a downside there, feeling that little bit of flex and movement. Um, it, we didn't really find it to be a drawback anywhere. Uh, we only felt the positives of that wheel set, but I, I totally can understand that there are guys who will not like that wheel because of that flex. So, moving from this beautiful unidirectional carbon rim, moving into the spokes, which are bladed, they have, I mean, they've held up. They, we haven't re 
tightened these, checked them at all in months on an e-bike. They're still doing well. The hubs are Zips ZM2, which are a German engineered hub featuring 12 pawls and 132 points of engagement. Um, they also feature some improved seal design, which is going to uh, further enhance the durability, um, the longevity of the life of the bearings in the, inside that hub and the wheel set. So uh, again, we've, we didn't wash these off or polish them up for you guys for this video. They were subjected to a lot of abuse, a lot of nasty conditions over the winter, uh, early spring, and into the dry, powdery summer. And uh, they've held up well. They are still spinning smoothly. They roll quite fast, and we're very impressed. All right, so for a little bit of reference, and you guys can see what this hub sounds like, it, once again, it is the German-engineered ZM2 hub featuring 12 pawls and 132 points of engagement. Uh, so here's what they're going to engage and sound like. And pretty instant. Something else that we really like about these wheels is the ability to customize them. So Zip has their Speedline graphics kit. So basically this line uh, you have, I think there's five different color options. Um, it's just a decal or if you want to strip it off and go a little bit more stealthy, absolutely can do that. Red, hot, day glow, fluorescent, whatever you want, or uh, just pull this decal off and you're good to go. Um, but I think they're a really cool looking wheel set. Uh, we've tested and ridden countless wheels over the years, but this unistitch carbon weave with the asymmetrical design, it just, it kind of commands attention when you roll up. I mean, you want to look at these wheels. They're really cool. Um, let's see, a couple of critiques that we do have. They are not the lightest wheels out on the market. Um, this set weighs in at 1,957 grams. It is a mullet setup. So we've got a 29 front, 27 and a half inch rear. So definitely a, a little bit on the heavy side. It is a weight penalty for a really good ride. So we're, we're willing to make that, especially on an e-bike um, and the durability is there. So also a big plus. Um, the next downside would be um, something that they claim you can do on the website, but we just couldn't quite get it right. And that is the ability to super easily mount tires. Um, as you can see here up front, we've got one of our trusty favorites, the Maxxis Minion DHF. We wanted to put a DHR on the rear um, in the double down casing or, or a DH casing. Even we tried both and we just couldn't get it to seat uh, or get it on there well. It, it just fought us very hard. Um, so we ended up putting a uh, 2.6 specialized butcher on the back of this bike. Um, it's held up well, it, it rides nicely, but we would have loved to have had that DHR out back, but we just couldn't get it to, couldn't get it to mount. So um, that being said, it's, it's a 30 millimeter internal rim width. So it's not that it's overly wide. I think maybe the low profile had something to do with it. Um, they just didn't play nice. So if you are looking to run a DH or a double down casing, um, just know that you might have to fight to get those to work. Um, and that, that's a bit of a downside. So that was uh, the dislikes. They are a little bit expensive as well. Um, competitive Cyclist has them at $19.99. Uh, SRAM's website lists them for a little bit less. However, we checked with some other online retailers and it didn't really seem like many people had them in stock. So um, if you are in the market, competitive's got them, $19.99. Uh, you could probably use our Lone Wolf 15 discount code for 15% off and that might save you a few bucks. Um, but I don't think there's many left in typical COVID land. So uh, get them while you can if you're looking because they are solid wheels. So what we like best about them, looks. They absolutely look awesome. Again, that weave, super cool. Like the fact that you can customize them with the graphics. More importantly, the ride quality, the uh, sensitivity, the traction, the ability to hold lines or to get into a new line uh, if you're trying to fight uphill or off camber lines and you know you want to cut inside the localized flex from that ankle compliance uh, which we really 
thought was kind of just some marketing magic really worked and it was super awesome to feel that out on the trail again we hammered these things hard a lot of miles on us on a specialized levo so you know 50 plus pound bike riding it hard and uh, into some very rough rocky terrain they held up haven't had a tighten spokes they're still spinning fast so how do they compare to some of the other wheels out on the market very well um, i think our team all agrees this is probably one of our favorite wheels that uh, are currently out on the market we love the compliance we love the looks they are sharp wheels um, traction is great comfort is great the stiffness is there when you need it they just offer a really good ride quality um, you get a weight penalty and they ain't cheap so that's that uh, if you are looking for a wheel set that's going to help give you a good ride smooth ride possibly help get you a little bit more traction in loose marbly terrain over wet roots or something along that nature this is a wheel set that really could improve your riding speed safety and uh, you know help you have a better time out on the trail so thank you guys very much for watching we appreciate it uh, once again CompetitiveCyclist.com is our preferred online retail partner. They've offered us a 15% discount code. So go ahead and check these wheels out at their website if you're in the market. Um, what's awesome is that they let us test any product we want from any brand. They don't really care. Um, and uh, this was a wheel set we were very excited to get some time in and we're very pleased with the results. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more. Be sure you hit the subscribe button, ask any questions you have down below, and we'll do our best to get back to you. Thanks very much, and we'll see you out on the trails.